Let me see, it has, it's all on the wrist here. You're saying the brakes are not as... Uh... It starts very, uh, starts very willingly. <laughs> This is no Mazda protege. <laughs> oh my God, I can feel the, I can feel the power in the. The first time it drove out of the garage, we burnt the tires. Oh my God. All that mass, and she takes off just like a, a rocket. <laughs> Well, this is great. I've, I've only driven this car one block in my life when I bought it first and drove it down the block leaking oil everywhere. And then it's, I stopped. I never drove it again. So this is actually a historic moment. The first time in, uh, where should we go? Just down here. Oh, yeah. You should have a little... Um, meter on here that says how much dollars you're spending when you plant your foot. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, yeah. No <laughs> kidding. You know, that costs you one dollar. Oh, it does. It but does. If, but if you just uh, probably just idle along, you're probably doing okay. Gas mileage isn't terrible. It's about what you would expect in a pickup truck. Yeah. And I'm not talking one of those gigantic six wheeled, you know, the seven liter Chevy's, engine. Uh, the Chevy pickups, they say when they were tuned right, they were getting about they could they could clear 20 miles per gallon. I don't know if that's true, but a 350 in a in a Chevy pickup in the old days, they if they had them really set up nice, they were supposed to get about 20. Which, yeah. I'm doing about uh, 14 liters to 100 kilometers, which is that's not um, bad. No, I think about one liter every seven eight kilometers. It's doable. 18 bucks to drive 100 kilometers? Yeah, not even, I think. That's not bad. No. There's lots of, uh, I think my my uh, Honda Element uh, did not do any better than that, honestly. It was, it was quite a big of gas. Well, actually, no wonder you can, uh, you can commute in this. It's super comfortable. Oh, I love it, absolutely. And it does it well. I only drive highway and it drives about 100 kilometers a day. Yeah. So this is a, this is a working car. Yeah. Just as it was meant to be. Nice big steering wheel. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck in that. all the RVs everywhere. What pandemic? If you look all around here, this is the most unique car on the street. There's no there's no other car like it. Which is why originally I bought it. Uh oh. Other way. I'm not gonna I don't know. So Charlie has come back to uh, the visit his original place of roosting. Okay, I'm going to use up some of your gas here. Pretty good considering the mass of this car. Brakes need 
Yeah. Some time. Oh, it's all right. I'm used to driving buses, and you you think uh, think far ahead before you uh, you put the brakes on. <laughs> because some of the buses uh, I drove with the former company, old MC9s, they um, their brakes. I guess they were legal, but they sure weren't up to snuff. You you planned ahead. Uh, Sean forgot that one time when he drove my car because, of course, he drives blue now, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we took that turn on one ear. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it sounds great. Back to where Charlie was unceremoniously trailered and then... Uh, and then Charlie was uh, trucked out of here and uh, brought back to life. So, yeah, once again, good job. She works. I'll buy it back. <laughs>